All right, what's up, boys and girls? We are playing some Lazav today, and we have a progenitus opponent. We have one land. Hand I don't think we can keep. Although I look at it, the hand is pretty much two drops with a three drop and then force of will. If we just don't draw a land, we're so screwed. Man. It's Let's keep it. We have two two draw steps to make up for it, so let's see if we can get there. <laughs> All right. Well, we can always day somebody. So I'm playing Lazav recently, and when I say recently, I mean like today, because Lazav <laughs> could daze that. I think I should. I'm tempted to daze this. That was a daze it, whatever. <laughs> just whatever. We're not gonna make our land drop anyway. <laughs> We're not making our land drop. I have no. I have a bad feeling about it. Oh, we made it. Well, we don't have to discard. Um, so we're playing Lazav. I haven't explored Lazav much in the recent days. I think Lazav is a lot better. Oh, he's a sliver deck. That's interesting. Can't say I've seen a lot of places people play slivers in Progenitus when they could play a sliver deck, like Sliver General. But um, I like this Lazav deck. It's actually really powerful. I didn't explore it much on uh, on recordings, but it's actually very good. Oh, this is gross. All right, we'll see who's Doomblade. <laughs> Get there. Doomblade it up. And we're just going to force this. Or no, we're going to mana drain it. Because we need mana. <laughs> That's basically why we're doing this. Slivers are coming in. This deck is weird. And this Miracle are not bad. Alright. We're going to Jace. Hope we hit a land. We do not hit a land. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> I kept on the premise of mana draining to Jace. But we are five color domaining. We're getting five color domains. Look at this. <laughs> and we even countered his um we countered his far seek and he's got five colors. Although he does have two non basics. Alright, we need to draw something. That's like land. Nice. Alright, get there. Alright, he didn't cap anything. He had nothing for five mana. That seems surprising to me. So the question is do we hold up spell crumble? Probably not. We just play Dark Confidant, probably. And hopefully he's not killed our confidant because the deck has a lot of expensive spells. Not a lot, but it's more on the aggressive side. And Dark Confidant's gonna let us lose life and draw cards. And he has another land. Alright, he's a sliver deck. That just seems weird to me. Yeah, that's Doom Blade. <laughs> Doom Blood Braid. Doom Braid Elf. <laughs> Doom Braid Elf. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. All right, let's see if he attacks. He probably will. So he's gonna. Oh, maybe he's sliver, so he can cast progenitus. So if I don't block, he's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially ten mana. But that'll give us a chance to spell crumble this guy. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. What do we got? Land? No. <laughs> well, we got to our land. Um. Problem is, we kind of need to hold up Spell Crumple now because he has Progenitus on top, or he's a he has potential of casting Progenitus. Although we have a Force of Will, so we don't really need to do that. What can we cast otherwise? Um, this Miracle Orb, no. We can just cast Glenundra and block. Why and Strong Gold is pretty sweet. I'll agree with that. Alright, question is do we attack with Dark Confidant? Probably not. Are we have Forcible? We're definitely going to Forcible something. Um, this Shadow Doubt seems kind of bad, but does Miss Miracorb? Hmm. Maybe Factor Fiction or the land. Definitely need a land, but this land seeming rather 
awkward. We're definitely gonna force the will if he casts the progenitus. As long as he doesn't like drop down a uh, cavern of souls here. Do you think he'll go for it? He probably should if he has it. Enigma Sphinx. He's a cascade deck. Shrivel. <laughs> wow. Well, there goes our guard confidant. But there goes all his slivers, so that seems like a weird card. Oh, we didn't cast it. We're gonna have to force this. I'm definitely forcing that because I don't have to deal with a five four flyer at this point. He didn't cast shrivel, which is pretty sweet. And um if I kill this later, he's going to get it again and cascade into it again. This is a card I haven't seen in a long time, so actually pretty sweet. I like this card. Not really good in the Esper Control deck because you're going to cascade in your counter spells, but it's good in his deck with cascading slivers, basically. Alright, Dark Confidant. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of cavernous souls. Alright, not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he has progenitor, progenitus mana. We only put this on Shapeshifter. But we're not going to, um... We're not going to cast Lazav because we definitely need to hold back and spell crumble progenitus here. Or spell crumble whatever broken thing he gets. <laughs> Maybe he forgets his slivers can tap for mana, I have no idea. But we're gonna mill him for like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards. Alright. We have to always yield to these triggers now. Amulet of Vigor. Alright, this guy's deck is a brew. It's a cascade brew. Um. <laughs> Look at this hand. This hand's sweet. Never seen actually. He's definitely a cascade deck. Bit blast. Predatory sliver. Alright. Got the predatory sliver. Oh, we can just uh, capture Jane Zhao. Alright, we're gonna block. We'll block one of these. <clears throat> Interesting. Alright, well, let's just get lucky with this uh, Dark Confidant on top. Dark Confidant, Psychic Strike. Oh man, Consuming Aberration. Not bad. I guess we should have. We drew Mana Crypt. Nice. Alright, we're gonna capture of Zheng Zhao here. One, two. Or we have we have two time walks. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> we have so many time walks. So many. Are these artifact creatures? Hold on. Colorless, they're not artifacts. Alright, let's kill something. Probably his hive stirring sliver, I would assume. There it goes. We're gonna take more damage. This is a little sketchy. Alright, what are we milling? <laughs> We're milling so many cards. Okay. Sword, nah, that would good. Alright, Dark Confidant, don't kill us. Yes, yeah, alright. <laughs> Our confidence doing his job. Alright, um. Oh, not even. <laughs> one last mill. What is it? A planeswalker. Nope, just underground sea. Mm, not bad. We can actually just kill ourselves time walking. Snapcaster, that's pretty good with our time walks. Um, alright. Can we time walk and cast our general? I don't think so. So we have we need actually one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I think we can actually. Black, black. 
Yep, we can. Because we are so lucky. <laughs> We're pretty low life here. <laughs> we just have these random time blocks. I usually never cast these. I actually have cast them like once today. We type with Dark Confidant? I don't think so. <clears throat> but, um, I've been playing this deck like, I don't know, six or seven games. And I've been having these epic games. They're pretty awesome. And then, uh, this game happened. Alright, Dark Confidant. I'm trying to stack the triggers so that they are more convenient. This is going into our life graveyard here. Kong Sphinx, no! Island. <laughs> What's Dark Confidant going to reveal? Nah, yeah, nothing great. Let's see. Crucible. That's actually pretty good. Is there a strip mine in our graveyard? There isn't. Ooh. Alright. We're in business here. So he's at five now. Um. I might just want a Crucible here. Crucible, and then we'll get a land. What land do we get? Hmm. The underground sea. Let's ancestral vision. I guess we can attack with our Lazav. Maybe we don't. Now that's a good question. Do we attack with Lazav? Probably not. When attacking with Lazav, I mean he has a chance of double blocking. Probably just take it and then attack Jay. So I'm going just not. I wonder if he'll cast his progenitus at this point. We'll see what he does. Time of need. Hmm. This point I'm probably gonna block with Dark Confidant, which is not interested in letting happen. <clears throat> Alright. Opponent is going to do something. Festering Newt dies. <laughs> Well, that kills Dark Confidant. Let's just Psychic Strike it, honestly. It's just going to kill Dark Confidant. I'm not going to make Lazav a copy of it, though, but we're going to see what we put into his graveyard. Elixir. Oh, he killed his Elixir. It was totally worth it. No. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's just Factor Fiction now, because... The mana's floating. I don't see him casting another spell at this point. And we have Dismiss, Stifle, Watery Grave, and we just don't need a land, so whatever has more spells. Probably the Dismiss, the other Stifle isn't all that great. Alright, so he does. Splitting. Alright, don't need land. Dismiss. <laughs> that was a good split, though. Although, it doesn't really matter because I have a Crucible for open play. So it doesn't matter how many land I actually grabbed. So apparently we're not going to hit any creatures with Lazav. He only played one mana for Festering New. He's not just in casting his progenitus, I think. This card is so awesome. <laughs> just look at it. This uh, regular art is so much better than the promo art. The promo art is just kind of awful, and this one is just more mysterious and... It's like scary, like you see it coming, but you can barely see it. Rise from the grave. That's that's cute. <laughs> that's cute, but not gonna work. Alright, um Stack my triggers. Alright, hold on a second. Hey, guess what? Oh, thank you. He's like a reanimator sliver deck, apparently. No thanks. You can die. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, and since it's my creature, it actually doesn't become a copy of uh, Sphinx since it went to my graveyard. That is not a good card to be drawing. I need to draw a sword. Are there any swords not in our graveyard? Doesn't look like it. I 
Our opponent is playing an interesting style here. Okay. Let's cast plus one. Oh, Liana's not bad. We can't play it though. Because we're stupid and we get a black land. But that's okay. We can attack with our Lazav. Do we attack with Lazav? Leave Jace open to attack. Narrow does not attack. Alright. Now we're going to Rhystic Study. Soon enough, we will have Black Lands and <laughs> we can do these things. Let's see what goes in the graveyard. Shieldred. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll take it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so he's like a weird mixture of slivers from M12 and then like reanimator and then cascade. That's weird. <laughs> I guess this five color deck is just weird. Whatever your opponent, whatever you want to make a five color deck, it actually can be a five color deck because you can literally play any card. So. <clears throat> this is going to be pretty good for me, because now I can reanimate, I don't know, Miracle of Osk. That seems pretty sweet. And it has Hexproof, so you can't deal with it. <laughs> let's reanimate, or let's mill him for one. Mill you for one. Maelstrom Anchor Angel, what? Ooh, that's pretty good. Nah. I'd rather just have children, to be honest with you. We can get back Mirkovosk or Consecrated Sphinx or Consuming Aberration, which would kill him faster. Let's get back Consuming Aberration. We need to kill off our uh, Dark Confidant here. Consuming Aberration will kill him pretty fast, considering <clears throat> considering all the things that are going to the graveyard. Jukabog, not bad. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, Bob. Oh, <laughs> just a five drop. Right, we're gonna kill him fast now. We did not take damage from our thing. We have a 32 to 32 consuming aberration. That is not a good draw. Alright, we need to get a swamp. I'm gonna kill this guy. Alright. Milieu. Why does he have time of need in his deck? So grow a tribe elder I do not want. We're just gonna make him sacrifice creature. Hold on, we're in the middle of the game. Sacrifice creature. Progenitus is just not getting cast, I assume. Maybe I just underestimated what it actually caught. Yeah, I thought he could cast it, but he just couldn't. No. Oh. Alright, um. We could just mill him, but. Nah, let's not. Animate dead. What can we cast that on? Maelstrom Archangels? No, not Shieldred. I guess we could Shieldred it if we wanted to. Let's just get Consecrated Sphinx. I'll have to pay black. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> He's pesky manas. Alright, Consecrated Sphinx. <laughs> what do we mill? Opportunities. Child of Alara. <laughs> um. 
I do not want to become a chop copy of Chalolar. I really don't like that card. And we did. Card is so broken. I'm surprised this card hasn't been reprinted, right? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna tag with our dark comp, not here. We're just tag with everything because he wants to sacrifice his creature. So we're just attacking. Hoping he blocks Dark Comp so we don't die. Probably won't though. Block. Block Dark Confidant. No. You don't have any swamps, really? That's unreal. I can't believe he has no swamps. Alright. Discarding. I was hoping he would block this. He's not interested. We'll see what he mills. It's such a silly game. I hope you would. I'm gonna mill myself pretty soon if I'm not careful. Maybe that was a bad thing. Ooh, a huge mm -hmm. card. That's a pretty good card. At least I like this card. What you got? Can I counter it? You know I have a dismiss in my hand, so. Maelstrom freaking Wanderer. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just Maelstrom wander out of nowhere. Alright, well, he has to pay one. That's interesting. Well, I have a 41 41. So long as he, he grabs, like, mind control. Alright, let's cascade it up, bro. Putrefy. Alright, that's a problem. That we will counter with our Lalendra Archmage. No. Also, pay one. Always yes. Always yield. <laughs> Yes, our combos are not bad. We drew a card. Sack that. Counter the spell. What do you get? Cascade <laughs> for life. <laughs> the Cascade for life. Cascade again. Give me more cards. Oh, we're not in deck. We have to kill him. Oh, he's just going to die. On burial rights, huh? This guy's deck is so weird. Bubbling cauldron. Don't care. Thank you for the cards. And dismissed. Class dismissed. And no, we don't need Maelstrom Wander. <laughs> yeah, I guess Glen Wander is the safer bet. We don't. We could die this turn if we flip something insane. I don't think we could actually. We don't have any nine drops in our deck. <gasps> We're so close to death. <laughs> We're so close to death. Alright, we need to just kill our opponent. Can we do that? I think so. Wow, we were really close to dying <laughs> to this deck. This is object, so silly. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. And I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the Lozob deck. I will bring you decks. New one, I'm actually building a janky deck. It's going to be super interesting and fun. And, um... Yeah, it should be interesting, and what else? Oh yeah, Google Plus, not a fan. <laughs> See you next time.